Hey guys, Zach here, coming at you with another video. So before we get into today's video, I just quickly want to give an honorable shout out to my friend Dave, who had recently passed away um, just this past uh, weekend. Dave was a great friend of mine from the channel D Dave. Some of you might have heard of them uh, for their infamous dumpster dive videos. Some of you might not have, um, but Dave passed away and um, him and I, we weren't very, very close, but we were good friends. We met up at too many games a few times, so it was really heartbreaking to hear about his passing. So if you know someone um, or you yourself struggle with uh, drug addiction or drug abuse, make sure to reach out to the proper people so that you can get the help you need so that you don't ever have any incidences uh, where you or someone you love passes away from an overdose. So I want to get that out of the way before we go into today's video. So without any further ado, guys, let's get into it. So today, guys, we are going to be talking about the Nintendo 3DS and my top five favorite games on the system. The 3DS definitely has a very interesting lifespan. When it launched, it dealt with a little bit of issues, obviously with overpricing and just not much being really out for it. And then the last few years of its existence, it would not die off, just releasing games that all really should have just been on the Switch. But now it is safe to say that the 3DS is officially dead. Obviously no new games are coming out for it. And the last few that have, basically, uh, looking at you, Mario and Luigi Bowser's Head Story Remake, they didn't do that well. So it's safe to say that the 3DS is just no more. And I'm personally fine with that. The 3DS had a great lifespan, had great games and all that stuff. And I think it's actually Nintendo's best handheld. I think I like the Game Boy Advance more as a system, but it'd be fanboyish for me to not acknowledge that the 3DS is probably technically the better system. There are more games. The games are higher quality because of the, you know, advancements in handheld technology. The 3DS is just overall a better system, you know, so, uh, objectively. So I've picked out five of my own personal favorite games for the 3DS, and we are going to be talking about them today. I know this was a long intro because of the segment in the beginning, but uh, I apologize. But without any further ado, guys, let's get into today's video. <laughs> So the first game I want to talk about here is Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask 3D. Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask 3D was really interesting because I had played Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask on the N64 and the GameCube before it. But this is the first time that it really officially got remade or remastered, however you want to say it. Now, it's obviously weird being on a 3DS because this is the first time that Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask has become portable. And it's just so cool, you know, I love Majora's Mask just simply because I love the theme of the game, the moon, just the visual design as a whole on the characters and the environments and the atmosphere that the game has. It's definitely a contrast as opposed to Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time that I personally wasn't a huge fan of, but I already made a whole video talking about that. That. So this game getting remade on the 3S was absolutely amazing. I loved playing through it. Um, I did get stuck and I haven't technically completed the game, um, but I do love the game. The only minor issue, I guess, is maybe the controls, but even then the controls for Majora's Mask have always been a little bit wonky. So that's why I think this game should be remade today, and I think I even made a video on that too. But regardless, Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask 3D, if you love Zelda games and you haven't given this one a try, definitely do so. To my Spongebob fans out there, this is going to be an interesting one um, because this is this is the odd one out on this list. And that's Spongebob Squigglepants 3D. Now Spongebob Squigglepants originally came out on the Nintendo Wii's odd little thing called the U-Draw. Where you'd use the little tablet thing which predates the Wii U and you use it to kind of draw and do certain tasks. I don't remember any like official Nintendo games using this thing. But it was still a pretty cool novelty item, you know, that's probably going to be collectible down the road. And Spongebob Squigglepants was one of those games that came out on that system and it was brought over to the 3DS. Spongebob Squigglepants is very comparable to WarioWare. Basically, you play these little mini games like WarioWare's micro games, and basically you have to play them in this rapid fire kind of row of mini games until you hit the end of each section. And then obviously you move on to the next one and each section has its own kind of theme. And I think this game does it really, really, really well. And there are so many little bonus things in there as well. There's like real live video with Patchy the Pirate from Spongebob. There's this cool little sticker book kind of mode. The game overall, while obviously it was made for a home console, it translated to a handheld really well because obviously the U-Draw used a stylus on, the, on, this, on this pad. So naturally it translates to the 3DS well because you used the stylus on the touch screen to complete the mini games. Now, I personally never played the U-Draw one, but I think it works really, really well here. And I just think this game is so, so fun to play. 
Next up here is Mario Golf World Tour. Now here's the thing, Mario Golf World Tour didn't have the awesome single player mode that I would have wanted, basically like Mario Golf Advanced Tour. But the character selection, the courses, everything about Mario Golf World Tour just screamed class and charm and fun. There were unique Mario courts that really Mario Tennis Aces needs to take a look at. Like they had like a peach themed court. They had an underwater cheap cheap themed court. There was even like a court with like a wiggler. It was like, you know, it was just really, really cool and very obviously Mario themed on top of the already good regular golf themed courses. And for a handheld Mario sports game, I think this was the first real entry. I don't know if Mario Tennis Open came first before Mario Golf World Tour. I think World Tour came first. But this one just had so much attention to detail put into it with its character roster and everything. And even that little mode where you play as your mean, you're walking around this clubhouse, there's definitely a lot of little charm in there and I really, really liked it. Like to me, this basically felt like putting Mario Golf Toadstool Tour from the GameCube on the go. Because this definitely feels more in line with a console Mario sports game and I think it really benefits from that. Like, I love Mario Golf Advanced Tour, don't get me wrong, but it's really, really nice having an almost console like Mario Golf experience to play on the go. I just can't wait for them to actually release it on the Switch and hope to God it's not like Mario Tennis Aces. I feel like number two is going to be a very controversial opinion, but hear me out on this one. And that's Super Mario 3D Land, a very basic game. Like, even the box art is literally just Mario in front of a PNG kind of background with some Mario uh, little landmarks in the, in the foreground. But nevertheless, I think this is a genius handheld 3D Mario game. It takes 2D Mario and 3D Mario and merges it because that's what's perfect for a handheld. You see, the thing is with Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon on the 3DS, it took an open game, you know, that never had any kind of uh, mission segment mode and it kind of turned it into that and not a lot of people liked it because it's actually a direct sequel. This is not a sequel to any 3D Mario game or any 2D Mario game. It just stands on its own with mixing the two elements to work on a handheld system. And I think it works absolutely beautifully. It's fun, it's dynamic, you know, there's lots of different environments, different enemies. And I just overall think that this game stands out well and uh, people are gonna hate me for this, but I like this better than Super Mario 3D World. Super Mario 3D World shouldn't have been a thing, in my personal opinion. You know, maybe the multiplayer elements were cool, but it's it's like, it's reverse dark mooning it. You're putting this mission-based mode in, you know, a 3D Mario game where everyone wanted a big adventure. But here on the 3DS, you don't really need to expect a big, giant 3D Mario adventure. You can expect something like this and be happily surprised and pleasantly pleased, and that's what I was. So yeah, Super Mario 3D Land is definitely uh, up there at number two for my favorite uh, 3DS game. All right, you guys, you guys already know what number one is, and that's the Luigi's Re Mansion remake. Um, and listen, you guys, I know that I'm gonna get a lot of crap for having a list where, again, I get to talk about Luigi's Mansion, but I think this game is an almost perfect remake. The only issue I have with this game are the controls, but other than that, the remake of Luigi's Mansion is perfect among all other things. Granted, I played this game on a new 2DS XL, so I didn't have a lot of the uh, running performance issues that people who have regular 3DSs uh, did, so I can't really attest much to that. But what I can attest to is how absolutely amazing everything else is. There's a little bit of added extra content, check. There's like a boss rush mode that makes going and replaying the ghost so much more fun rather than just having to replay the whole game just to battle your favorite ghost. Check. The game actually looks good. Sure, I would have obviously preferred this game on the Nintendo Switch, but oh my god, I think it looks absolutely beautiful on the 3DS. Sure, some of the ghosts look a little bit weird in their texturing, like they could have been a little more opaque, but I don't know how difficult that would have been on a 3DS. But regardless, this is the Luigi's Mansion I love. And even though it's on the Nintendo 3DS, just the fact that I can take Luigi's Mansion anywhere I go and still have a good time and not be disappointed, that is to me the absolute glory of the 3DS. And that is why this is my favorite 3DS game of all time. So I know number one wasn't too much of a shocker, but what about all the other choices? I think I had some decent choices on this list. I had a Zelda game, I had a, a random obscure, you know, a licensed game, I had a couple Mario games, so what do you guys think? Let me know what your favorite 3DS games are down in the comments down below. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, all that down below, and check out the merch store for a bunch of cool Zack Pack merch. So yeah, so I guess that's really it guys, so thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed, and until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video.